this too. Hey guys, it's Spooker4590, and welcome... <coughs> oh god, second year in a row, I'm sorry about that. Welcome to Dead Space 2. So, this is a game that needs absolutely no introduction, as you all know, probably, or maybe not. We did Dead Space 1 last year, and now it's time to obviously move on to the sequel, Dead Space 2. But I know what you're thinking. Spooker, you crazy, murderous bastard, you! Isn't there already a playthrough of Dead Space 2 on this channel? Well... Yeah, so that's a little bit more off the wall than what I have in mind here. Maybe just a more straight-laced playthrough of the game. So uh, if you want the insanity, feel free to watch. Because, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty bonkers. Uh, you might lose your mind just like uh, those two did. So without further ado, let's actually hop into... Oh, by the way, I want to point out this title screen is really cool. Because you can actually look around and see there's marker symbols everywhere and... Yeah, it's pretty neat. Anyway, without further ado, let is let us start the single player of my favorite Dead Space game. Again, shouldn't be any surprise, but this is my favorite of the trilogy. It's a lot of people's favorite, and it even has a space on my favorite games of all time, uh, and Turner's, because we're two different people. I'm still sticking with that nonsense. Anyway, so uh, there's a little recap video you can watch on the uh, what happened in the last game, but. I'd honestly fully recommend you watch the last game if you haven't, whether it be this playthrough or just play it yourself, because I'd highly recommend it. It's, I think, one of the finest... This is one of the finest uh, new IPs to come out of the last generation, for sure. And we're going to be starting a brand new game. So, just like the previous game, normally on this channel, I usually cop out and say, oh, I'm going to do it on easy, because I just want to have a good time. I stand by what I did with Dead Space 1, I love this series to death, and I've played Dead Space 2 for at least 60 hours, so I'm pretty confident with a hardcore playthrough. Okay, no, no, I'm so sorry. I will not be doing that. So basically, how hardcore works in this game is that, as you can see on the right, it tells you exactly what it is. Essentially, you have three saves for the entire game. You can save three times. And that's it, and there are no checkpoints. So when you die, you go back to your last of three saves. So basically, if you die, you're gonna be going back a couple hours, probably, assuming your save was la a couple hours ago. So it is an insanely intense challenge, and I'm proud to say that it actually does reward you with something actually decent. It's arguably the best completion bonus of all time. And if you wanna see that completion bonus, uh, in action, then again, I highly recommend or or unrecommend you check out Dead Space Woo. So, besides hardcore, you have Zealot, which is basically just the hardest difficulty without the constant fear of going back two hours because you died to like a random explosion because explosions are the freaking worst. Anyway, so let's just do a Zealot playthrough because again, I am very confident in my dead spacing abilities. Isaac, are you there? Come oh. Down, Isaac. Um, hi. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at You're looking look awfully different. played by a di different okay. actress today. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving. Oh, you. yeah, about that. Uh, oh, boy. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. 
Man, Isaac must feel pretty shitty about this. Uh, in the past. You know what? We must be getting out of range of Whoa. What's going on here? Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. What's going on? You were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Oh, God. Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. So, yeah, spoiler alert, by the understand. way. That's why I recommended you check out the first game. Once. <laughs> I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. The Ishimura. USG Ishimura. Yeah, you happen to have a model of it on your desk. Operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. Just want to say, by the way, the, the cutscenes in this game are right. such an unbelievable step up. Just what like you find the staging and the cinematography and everything. It's it's really great. You can also move the camera around too. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? Oh God. It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What oh say, God. Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Uh, Isaac, 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 can you hear me? What? Oh, I've been through so, through so many interrogations. I've forgotten what time of day it is. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, your name's Franco, eh? Oh. Well, I'm sure he'll be around for a long time, Franco. We'll be best friends. It's not like this is a horror game or anything. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. You tell me. Explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen. You're in terrible, terrible danger. Oh God. Oh, Jesus Christ, not one of these things already. Um, Franco, are you okay? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't remember it being this fast in the last game. Oh my God! Get away! Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go! Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, welcome to the beginning of every Dead Space game where if you don't run, you're dead. If you stop to look, you're dead. So just keep running, because you're dead. Uh, basically, on Zella as well, you're probably going to die in one hit, so please just do not get caught at all. They're everywhere though, so we got to keep running. Wow, okay. I got a little bit cocky there <laughs> looking. <laughs> I swear I've played this game before, just you wait till I get a gun. <laughs> That's a quite the pose that that ch chick has. Yeah, you're in basically no danger as long as you don't run towards any of them like I did right there. Again, just being a cheeky bastard. But we made it. Except we didn't! Oh, God! <laughs> Get away from me! Jesus! Oh, my God. Chapter 1. One interesting thing that they changed in this game is that there actually are no chapter names. There were, there are in-game chapter names for, like, for the development. Like, I think you can find them on the wiki, but just to burst your bubble, don't go looking for any Easter eggs or anything, because there actually isn't for Dead Space 2. And, uh, oh boy. One thing I want to point out is that how this game, you can just tell right off the bat how much of a budget increase this game had, because holy shit, it's an identical engine and everything, the same models and, and everything, but it's just, they got a lot more time and a lot more money in it, and it really shows, because Dead Space 2 and 3, in terms of like, like just everything, they just feel like huge triple-A budget games, which is cool, because that does not happen usually for horror games. Oh god, look at all these spoilers. I wouldn't recommend looking at any of these. Uh, okay, here. 
Okay, so save save machines work as usual. So you can just save whenever you want, unless you're on hardcore, in which case, if you waste your first save after the first cutscene of the game, I would not recommend doing that. Again, if you're playing on hardcore, I'd highly recommend just spacing out your saves every two or three hours, because it isn't the longest game in the world, but you're still gonna need to, oh God. Yeah, don't do what these guys do, do and die almost immediately. Lovely. Hope something doesn't drop on my head. Oh, God. Okay, I would fling this away with my telekinesis powers, but I do not have any right now. Tideman? Hmm. Wonder who that guy is. Oh, God. Yeah, something tells me they were up to some some weird stuff on this place. Oh, the eye's looking much better today, yeah? Don't you think? It hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. No, no, no I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't care. This guy does not look stable. Tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. Yeah, I'm sure. With that, black. with that tone of voice, I'm sure. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whisper to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? He was just sharp. He was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what he looks like. I can't remember. <laughs> the symbols, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, God. I feel Strauss uncomfortable watching this. Maybe we should move on. Medication up 30 milligrams. Hopefully we won't, won't run into that guy either. God, I I keep I can't keep. Stop marveling, even though I played this game so much, at how just gorgeous it looks. This game came out in 2011, I believe, by the way. And, uh, oh, God. Okay, well, we just... W oh. Well, if we just walk past him, I'm sure it'll be... F oh, God! Please no. My hardcore blazer is gonna end this quickly. Oh. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> Take it easy. Buddy. <laughs> Judging by all the blood on your coat, I'm sure that's true. Your rig is red. It's red. What are you, some kind of doctor? It's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Huh. Okay, just don't pull any funny business with that knife. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay, so... Well, I guess you won't be needing it because you're in perfect health. I guess that's what he means. Anyway, so... Small med packs, again, gameplay-wise, this is practically an identical game to Dead Space 2. Or, Dead Space 1. Which, again, isn't a bad thing because Dead Space gameplay was so unbelievably airtight it didn't really need to be improved outside of just quality of life things like making the aiming better and stuff which obviously they did i'll get into it but basically everything in this game is dead space one done better so uh let's just grab that small med pack and of course you can use a quick heal or just activate it from your inventory which i'll bring up in another little bit also a flashlight which would be extremely useful thanks buddy isaac we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Wait, stop. No! Oh. God. <laughs> I like how glad 
I like how Clark waited a bit. Waited until the knife was like halfway through his throat before going, oh, God. Uh, well, let's give him a proper uh, burial, or as good of a burial as you're going to get on this place. Fucking, fucking die, you motherfucker. Fucking die, fuck, fuck, fuck. So, uh, first gameplay edition is the stomp has been sped up by at least 100% with almost no cooldown. So, basically the game encourages you to stomp things multiple times, whereas in Dead Space 1, obviously, stomping and punching was extremely slow, and they made it way faster in this game. And, uh, obviously, uh... Even though Isaac is assuming wearing probably slippers at this point, he can stomp off <laughs> a human skull and every limb, apparently. He just has that much pent-up rage, apparently. Makes sense to me. Oh, God, who are you? Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. Oh. How do, you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. <laughs> you said it. Well, it'd be nice if I knew where I was, how long I've been here, and when my last shower was. Oh, God. Oh, sweet. So, another thing they've, again, brought from Dead Space 1 is the locator. Carl! Or, Katarl. Sorry. Anyway, so, one thing that they've added about the the way, waypoint, or the locator in this game, is that it has the ability to do disco lights at will! Or, or, okay, let's, there we go. So, basically, uh, you can actually uh, use the locator to find anything. You can find a store, your objective, a save point, or a bench, which, spoiler alert, there's stores and benches in this game. It's Dead Space 1 again. Again, not a bad thing. I would never complain about having more of the same thing. Especially with how go... God. Anyway, so yeah, using the locator, you locator, just like Dead Space 1, is extremely smart. So it'll tell you exactly where you're going. And uh, I've done this room so many times that I know exactly where I'm going, but sure, we'll aim the flashlight, because nothing spooky will ever happen. Oh, Jesus! That's what I get for opening my big fat mouth. Maybe they should put like, it's like, if I'm in a straight jacket, they might as well put some duct tape over it too. Also, I'm really sorry. I know where I'm going, but I really should be shining the flashlight because I'm sure watching on YouTube, you can't see anything. Orderly TPS report 1418. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research Jeez. teams have all been notified of the discovery. So yes, audio logs return, obviously, and thankfully you can just continue on with the gameplay uninterrupted while you listen to them, so it makes uh, the environment uh, that much more fun to explore, because you get more backstory and stuff. Also, the the unending weight of your guilt. What the hell? Yeah, seriously. Okay, new to this piece too is vents, and essentially vents are just, I mean, realistically they're probably disguised loading screens, but I don't know, loading is so rapid fire in this game. By the way, we're, oh Jesus. By the way, uh, we're playing the PC version, which is undoubtedly the best version of the game because Mouse aiming, obviously, and uh, 60 frames, exclusive to... I'm, I'm surprised they haven't done Dead Space on, like, like a Dead Space trilogy on, like, consoles or something. It has, like, 60 frames, like the PC version. Uh, and, as well as the fact that it's faster loading, because doors are much slower to open on the 360 version, making the game actually harder. But on the PC version, doors open instantaneously because you're playing on a PC. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. Hmm. Okay, so uh, let's just... Sure, let's rip this out. We're an engineer after all.
Perfect. Kinesis module. Fun. Anyway, so, a new mechanic, or not really a new mechanic, but a mechanic that was kind of in Dead Space 1, but it was awful, is Kinesis launching. So, basically, you can take objects and launch them, and in Dead Space 2, they've made it a very, very potent weapon, because you can find spears and sharp objects and everything, and Kinesis, in general, does a lot more damage. So, if we take one of these spears, for instance, and he's walking that way for some reason, and if we launch it into the general direction of this guy... It's going to pin him right up there, including, like, there. See, as you can see, uh, Kinesis launching is extremely potent. This is without upgrades, too. And, yeah, they also cling to walls, too. Like, it, it has full physics and everything. Also, uh, this guy is having a bad day. One thing I absolutely have to stress is that, unlike Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2 makes it an absolute guarantee that every single enemy will have a drop but you have to attack it again for the drop to happen. More often than not, that means stomping corpses, and it'll just make the item fly out, out of them. Uh, keep in mind, though, it is any hit. So if you use a machine gun, for instance, if a, if a bullet hits the necromorph, that's what they're called, by the way, if you haven't, uh, haven't kept up, uh, if you hit a necromorph after it's dead with a single machine gun bullet, for instance, it'll have the same effect and the item will pop up. So for certain items or certain weapons that I'll be showing off later, this is extremely useful because you can kill them and get the item almost instantaneously due to how the uh, how individual weapons work with like how many hits they're going to be doing or etc. Again, a machine gun is a good uh, a good example. <laughs> 